beautiful sunny day. It's lovely, isn't it? Our, um, really nice. Our signature tune playing there. Yes. I, I heard some more music the other day and I was like, oh, I like that. Uh, we should do that. But it's one of those, um, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a commercially available track and in the past I've noticed that YouTube don't let you upload things like uh, that right, but it is okay. a bit of a mix right. so it might work so might maybe work. we'll try it maybe. <laughs> new, new theme tune right? can, we, can we cope with such novelty <laughs> okay then so today I want to be asking you questions about token leasing and Rex and Shintai because to be perfectly honest you've gone down a bit of a track on it and, <laughs> and, 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 and you've uploaded uh, the Shintai um, telegram to my telegram channel <laughs> uh, so it's going to scare me so I just need you to walk me through it which will in the process hopefully um, walk uh, some of the viewers through it as well so okay. let's do our sort of uh, start for 10 what is do you want to do you want to go with what's Rex or what is Shintai and what's the difference? Well, that's a good question, good place to start, isn't it? So we touched on Shintai recent, uh, on, the, on the last one yeah. yesterday and um, uh, so that's a good place to start. So Shintai is an EOS token leasing platform where if you've got spare or you're holding EOS tokens, you can rent them out, lease them out for either 7, 14 or 28 days. It's four, four markets. Okay. Um, and they all have different prices, and it's a bit like you know going on the exchanges because I know you love doing that, don't you? Jim? Oh, I hate the exchanges. <laughs> and, and, Fright me to death. And trading, uh, you know, look, you're looking at you're looking at the, the currently available price and deciding if that's the price you want to lend the, it out at and the, stuff the, like that. There so. is a good reason why I'm frightened of those trading platforms, though, Roger, isn't there? Because I did I did totally sell when I meant to buy at <laughs> one time and then and did it then the other way yeah, around. But, you, but that's another story. You sold all your mining power. I did. I did by I mistake did. when you but, were trying to buy some. Yeah. Yeah, but you know it was confusing well it's how you learn you it know is, we're all we're all learning I mean it's like you know this is the, the whole point about crypto space is that there is no uh, you know you can't just go and download the rule book no. because it hasn't been written yet no. you know the technology is still evolving and yes we get the opportunity to understand some of the things that we've used three or four or five more times yes. but up until that there, you know there isn't really uh, a source of information except for perhaps the people that created these tools and then sometimes they're so close to them and they're so technical yeah, yeah. that it's, it still doesn't make sense I mean look at Scatter for example I mean NS James we love you mate and everything that you've done for EOS and all of that is brilliant but so I just you know scatters just so hard and that's probably because it's alien and it's new but yeah. um, you know I can imagine NS James so close to it can't can't be objectively yeah, yeah, yeah. you know looking yeah. at the UI and going well yeah. I think a person's going to need it to do this anyway we digress so token leasing on Chintai that's yeah. basically you get the opportunity to go on and uh, you connect your account using Scatter um, and you can lend your tokens for a period of time at a set interest rate okay and you, you've you've done a bit of an experiment, haven't you? <laughs> I have, yes. Yeah. So uh, the way that it works is you, when you lend uh, your EOS, say I'm going to lend 10 EOS, you agree the interest rate up front. You, well, as soon as you lend it, the tokens go out of your account to whoever they've been lent to, and then instantly you get your interest straight away right. as soon as you lend it. And then either 7, 14, 21 or 28 days later, you get back what you, what you lent. Okay. Uh, so you get your money up front, but your well, you tokens, get your you get your you get your interest yeah, up yeah. front, and then you wait to get your tokens get back. Your tokens back. So the original question, which I've just realised I didn't answer because <laughs> <You're> <laughs> off of one, I, I get so excited about all of this stuff, uh, was what's the difference between token leasing and Rex? Yeah. So Rex is the resource exchange where you can. Uh, earn tokens for um, well stake rewards. So your stake rewards uh, you get for uh, basically similar to token leasing, but instead of lending it to a person through the Chintai platform, you're you're kind of lending it back to EOS. Yeah, uh, I think it's probably a, a reasonable way of it, of describing it. 
um, and you provided you've um, staked your tokens and you've voted for at least 21 block producers then uh, you will get a percentage of the uh, system charges that are generated like when accounts are created and, and things like that you'll get a percentage of that based on the percentage of the tokens that you okay, are but, holding. But let's be clear, at the moment Rex isn't ready. Correct. Rex doesn't uh, it, it, well doesn't exist. It's not it's not live. It's not live. Rex is not live on EOS, uh, but Shintai is and you can do the Shintai. Correct. So my next question before we talk about Shintai a bit more, because I want to talk about your hundred your oh, hundred sorry, EOS yes. company <laughs> is that will will Rex and Shintai be available on Telos, for example? Uh, well, Rex will definitely be available on Telos right. and perhaps even before it's available on EOS. Yes, Ooh. the reason for that is that the, I believe, is that the uh, necessary functions have already been uh, voted into the T. BNLA. To the, the the operating agreement. The that's operating right. Agreement. Yeah. So so the Telus operating agreement is maybe when it does go live, which hopefully very soon, um, might be one step ahead of EOS in that in that section. Correct. So so we might be talking about Rex on Telos before we talk about Rex on EOS. Yes. So. But will we be talking about Rex on Shintai? No, sorry, Telos <laughs> on Shintai. So. Uh, so will we be talking about Chintai on Telos? That's yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and maybe would be the answer. And I suppose that really depends on um, you know whether EOS 42 and all of the other guys that are involved in Chintai decide that it's worth adding. Yeah. Uh, because obviously the, the technologies are very similar. Um, and so in theory, I guess they could do it once Telos has launched quite easily right. or they could even be working on it on the Telos testnet now but yeah, yeah, it yeah. depends whether or not to think there's going to be a, a demand yes. for it yes. uh, or not um, who knows so possibly so hopefully then this just talk about your your 100 EOS oh, yeah. test thing because so, I think that's interesting for people yeah so when I started uh, experimenting with Chintai on EOS um, I realised that it was, you know, when you place an order and say I'm going to lend, uh, you know, this many EOS tokens, it actually sends it from your account into the Chintai account and then it waits there until somebody buys it. Yeah. Um, and sometimes that happens instantly and sometimes nobody buys it and you end up cancelling it and it comes back. Right. So all of these actions are then logged on your account. Uh, on on your EOS account, and I was going, oh, that's a bit of a mess. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I created a separate account called Hundred Lease because yeah. obviously it has to have twelve characters. So I managed to work out Hundred yeah. Lease, H U N D R E D. Right. Because uh, you can't have zeros yeah, in yeah, the account yeah. name, so I couldn't put one zero zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and uh, I put a hundred EOS in it. Actually, I put hundred and one EOS in it because. Right. After I'd staked the resources that I needed to, okay. yeah, to, to run the contracts, I'd run out. So I had to then put another one EOS in so I could have a 10 that Very I could lend out, which is the minimum. You have to have 10 yeah, yeah, to yeah. lease. Okay. Uh, There's the minimum you can lease out on Tintai. So I thought, yeah, it'd be a good experiment. Let's put 100 EOS, 101 EOS into this account uh, and use it purely for Tintai leasing. Uh, and people who know me will know I'm a big fan of compound interest yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, being the eighth wonder of the world as it is um, and uh, so I thought wouldn't it be great if we can use Chintai to uh, you know grow this hundred yeah, pounds yeah. or hundred EOS yeah, sorry yeah. Uh, into uh, more than a hundred and by putting it in a separate account like that I just thought it would make it easier to, yes, yeah, yeah, to follow. Great, isn't it? So anyone can look at that. So that's that was going to be my other point because you mentioned something I think on, on another car share which I didn't follow up on, which was uh, you can create a watch wallet. Yes. Which um, hopefully we're going to be doing a few videos about wallets. Um, yeah. Oh, it's all about time, isn't it? But, it's all about, uh, but this notion of and you actually showed me this over the weekend where you created um, a wallet for me in Squirrel uh, and. You showed me the difference between a watch wallet and are we calling it an active wallet, a hot wallet? Hot wallet. A hot wallet. That's right, well done, Tim. Um, so we'll talk about transparency again. 
I can now see the 100 EOS account. Yeah, 100, uh, 100 lease. The 100, the 100 lease account, and I can watch its progress. Yeah, because and, as on a watch wallet. And anybody can. So if you want to go and download the Squirrel Wallet from, say, TelosFoundation.io. Uh, add it as a watch wallet so you just literally type in 100 lease you don't need to put in the private keys or anything um, click the little button that says make it only a watch wallet uh, and then you can watch what goes on with it equally you can do the same with the block one wallet oh yes yes yeah because their <laughs> account name is uh, b1 b1 and if you look on there they've got 100 million eos Whee. worth 500 million pounds at the moment how about that so you could add that to your wallet as well and pretend it was yours that'll be so i think i think the 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 moral of this particular car share is we've probably confused everybody <laughs> but it's again early in this space yeah. and the fact is that you can go onto a site and you can rent out your uh, your EOS. Yeah, if you, you just Google get... Chintai, oh, we'll put the link up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it... one dream of uh, asking you how to spell it, Jim. Oh yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> wouldn't it? Um, uh, and again, it's just yet another uh, revenue stream. And you know, everyone's a bit wary about um, scams, etc., etc., etc. So I just thought the idea of your hundred uh, hundred lease yeah. was a good one because people can watch that yeah. and see how you're getting on. Yeah. And then, or not. Or, or not. <laughs> yeah. And it's sort of like, yeah, if you watch it for a few weeks and think, well, it's sort of going there, or I could do a bit better than Roger, or let's scale it up a bit, or whatever. Mm. And we could sort of like to see how people are getting on with it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and then all the little wrinkles that will come out, and, and, and we can do that. And Shinta, I have got a Telegram channel where yes. you can talk to them. Or uh, on our Telegram channel, we can chat about uh, Shintai as well. So, um, yeah. so yeah, it's all, all good, isn't it? It's yeah. Um, yeah, another something else that's new yes. and exciting for yeah, us to be getting ahead. Right. I think token leasing is the new shiny at yes. the moment, which yes. is uh, you know what everybody's because you know you you can hold EOS. A lot of people holding EOS are not planning on selling them. Yeah. So. You know why wouldn't you rent them out and yeah. okay the interest rate's not massive i mean you're talking if you can get half a percent mm. uh over a sort of a two or three week lease yeah that's probably about where it's at at the moment right. but the demand is growing the volume yeah. is increasing and that's a sign of the yeah health of the EOS ecosystem in that the demand is growing for token leasing. Yes. Um, so it's definitely worth getting in there, learning how it works, experimenting with it, seeing if you can just lease out 10 EOS, you know, you could you could do um, what I've done and just sort of have a fixed amount yeah. uh, just to um, that, have a play but, with. But when you said about the, uh, it, 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 the the um, 42 did a really good medium article did you read that the other day mm, mm. about the canary of the yes uh, that's good. right yeah so there's a link up here but we'll be in the post and uh it just sort of talks about how uh, you can sort of like the shintai sort of showing real real effect sort of health as well the isn't real, it the real it's, health it's, like, it. it's like a marker of the health of the eos ecosystem yeah, yeah. and the economy yeah so so as as more as, as more uh d apps come on uh, stream and they need more and more resources mm. that's where this side of it is going to increase isn't yeah it? yeah and then when people get more confident with shintai i mean you know I, i'm not confident using it it's like you know to me it's, like, <laughs> it's uh, where you don't go yeah, isn't where it I Jim? Don't go, but, but that, that, and that's the whole problem with mass adoption is we've got to get it to the point yeah. where both you yeah. and my mom yeah. can use it and yeah. and when you and my mum can use it anybody can use that's it right. and that's what we're working that's towards. our goal and that's why we're doing these videos because we're trying to bring mass adoption in our own our own stumbling way, but, <laughs> yeah. but that's our, that's what we're trying to do, and we'll get better at it, and everyone will get better yeah. at it, and we'll move this thing forward. And uh, it, you know, we did briefly touch on earlier, like resources, like staking, RAM, and CPU, and bandwidth, and you just go, oh mm. my god. So we're going to do some more videos on that, but uh, yeah, you know, you just got to start learning about this stuff, and. Uh, until there is an easier way to explain it and use it, yeah. we've got to start learning about it, and we'll, you know, we'll we'll learn about it and try and try and share it with you as well. So, okay. uh, so yeah, if you found that useful, please like, share, vote, revote, um, anything you can do to help spread the word and uh, see if we can keep our. Uh, votes up there so yeah. that we get paid for doing this kind of thing because uh, we love it, don't we, Jim? Yeah, we do. It's <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Cheers for now. Cheers, Bye. Bye.